There's a streaker in the Bible? What up, Zoom? I hope you had a great March break. I saw your long to-do list of all the people you were going to visit and all the fun stuff you are going to do, so I hope your March break was crazy awesome and that even though you're back in school and you have a lot to do, that you remember to breathe because you have it going awesome. Today I want to talk to you about the Bible, and the reason is I was thinking the other day about something that happened at camp a couple years ago where I was talking to this person named OFM, which stands for One Funky Monkey, and she was talking about how reading the Bible for her used to be very difficult. Like, she'd want to read the Bible, but it just wasn't interesting, and she never really got engaged in the Bible, and it just, she couldn't sit down and read it. And from my experience, I've met a lot of people who are like that, who they can't sit down and read their Bible because it's just so boring for them and they just, it's such a big challenge. And then there's other people who read the Bible, but they do it like, I've done this before, where I read with my eyes, but not with my brain. And it's just like, I, I don't absorb anything that I'm reading. And that's not really good either. So you have people who don't read because it's boring, and the people who do read but don't absorb anything. And both cases are bleh. Then I listened to this one guy who's speaking about this, uh, the story of Lazarus, and maybe you're familiar or not, but when he was speaking it and just talking about it, it kind of like made me think, how can I not find the Bible interesting? And here, I'll just I'll tell you what this story is. It's found in John chapter 11. So basically... When you read the story, it's like, okay, Jesus is doing his thing, then he goes in later and raises him to the dead. But, like, if you actually read the story and think about it, so Jesus gets this message from Mary and Martha saying, the one who you love is sick. So he loves Lazarus, okay? And Jesus goes, okay, guys, we're going to stay here for a few more days. Does that not sound weird to you? Like, he didn't even leave. He just stayed where he was, even though Lazarus was sick. So then... They say, okay, disciples, let's go back to Judah. And his disciples are like, wait, that's the place where you just, like, they wanted to kill you. And you want to go back there? And Jesus is like, yeah, well, Lazarus is sick, so we have to go see him. And his disciples are like, okay, then just let him get better and, like, give him some rest and he'll get better. Like, they did not want to go back to Judah. Like, they didn't want to die, right? And Jesus is like, no, we're going to go. So you got this one. Like, just two things here, like, that you have to, like, think about. And a lot of people just read this over and don't think about it. Like, one... Jesus didn't even go right away to save Lazarus. And two, his disciples didn't want to go back because they were going to be killed. So obviously going back was dangerous. And it's just like one of those things where you read the story and they actually understand it. And it can take on a whole new meaning. So that was just one thing that I want to share with you today. And another thing is, OFM was telling me how to read the Bible. She said, God... I really like funny things, so please make the Bible funny, like, I'll read it more, I'll enjoy it more. And then, all of a sudden, she was reading along, and there was a streaker in the Bible. And you may have heard this before, because it's one of my favorite things to share. Like, did you know there's a streaker in the Bible? In Mark chapter 14, when Jesus is about to be arrested, there was this man there who was wearing clothes, and when the guards came, he dropped his clothes and ran away. Like, oh. Like, here it says, I'll read it to you, so, like, you, like, it's highlighted in pink right there. This is what I'm going to read. A young man wearing nothing but a linen garment was following Jesus. When they seized him, he fled naked, leaving his garment behind. Can you believe? Well, yeah. This concludes Bible Snapshots with a Cleewick. Zoom, I hope you're having a good week, and I hope to hear from you soon. To everyone else who's watching, you learned something new. Bye.